In one Birmingham neighborhood, we saw a group of people just sitting on the rubble, still amazed that they survived while others down the street did not. Yeah, you know, you wake up, you never think, you know, this will be your last day. This storefront came crashing down yesterday, yet everything hanging is still there. It could have been worse. Oh, yeah. yeah. We saw lines of cars and trucks loaded with belongings heading out of the neighborhood, taking what they could salvage. Others are staying to protect what's left. They're surviving off the help of others. Calvin Cole got a meal from the fire department. One thing I do is come down there and they just give it to you. It's a blessing. Amidst all the destruction, that's the good part, say people here. Neighbor helping neighbor. Help is coming in from across the country and this area needs it desperately. From food and water to just some comfort to those who lost their loved ones and lost everything they own. In Birmingham, Steve Onisorge, WBTV, on your side. Tuscaloosa, Alabama, considered the hardest hit city. WBTV, Steve Onisorge is there live now. And Steve, obviously it will be days before we truly know the magnitude of these storms. Absolutely, because at this point there are still more than 400 people missing in Tuscaloosa alone. And authorities, well, they're looking around, and but there's a lot of rubble to look through. Going down the street here, you can take a look and see that there are just businesses destroyed. There are people walking around still in a daze, still looking at it. Other people coming out to see what happened. Nobody can believe it. It's devastation they haven't seen either. For the survivors, there is a long way to go, but there's plenty of help coming. I'm very proud of my town. For many, it's not just about salvaging what they can. Many businesses were destroyed too. That means hundreds are out of work. Some people can't get out of their neighborhoods to get to work if there is a place to go. This convenience store is just one in a chain of 13. Out of all 13, I think we've got four open. Together, they say they will get through it. Especially when you see neighbors like these three women. They went out and bought some food, then started walking in the neighborhood, passing it out. To whoever's hungry, and there's a lot of hungry ones. There are a lot of people here that are hungry, not just for food, but hungry for a future. And they're saying that that future starts right now. And they are grateful for all the help that's been coming this way. And they know they're going to need a lot of it, from power crews to water crews to just construction crews and just some people to help comfort them. They've been through a lot and they've got a lot more to go through. Reporting live in Tuscaloosa, Steve Onisorge, WBTV on your side. WBTV Steve Onisorge on your side with the latest tonight from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Many people in this area are thinking when they look at all of this, they're saying how could we really recover from all of this? But then again, they say over time they will and they are determined. Josh Mays and his family salvaged a lot from the home they were living in, and though they do have to get out, they won't go far. Yeah, yeah, we're here for the long run. People are determined to get through this, though no one thinks it will be easy. They need and want a lot of help. Bring it on. Parker Mattingly and Taylor Smith came a long way to help people they know. From, you know, West Louisiana to get down here. And help clean up so well, what about you you've come from how far kentucky and so far though there are warnings about scam artists cases have been few even worries about looting as this business owner clearly is have not materialized at least not in this neighborhood a convenience store crushed by the tornadoes was still full of merchandise this morning the owner started hauling it away i'm very proud of my town one other problem with all of the damage is that a lot of places like this were businesses where people worked. Hundreds of people have lost their jobs because of the storm. The state says that they can apply for unemployment. The business owners tell me they're going to try to rebuild, but it will take some time. In Tuscaloosa, Steve Onisorge, WBTV, on your side.